Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am with another spread in my mini happy planner dashboard layout. And there is my last week, Monday, April 1st through to Sunday, April 7th, where I used an old Planner Society kit. And just showed you how you can still use kits made for maybe Erin Condren um, in the dashboard layout. So I will flip to this week, which will be April, Monday, April 8th through to Sunday, April 5th, no, 14th, <laughs> and I will take these out and place them on here because it's always just easier to decorate when they're on the desk like that. And I'm gonna use one of these older kits that I've had for a while. This is called Vintage Rose from Green Darner Designs and it is made for the Mini Happy Planner Horizontal. But I wanted to challenge my, myself and use it in the dashboard layout. I will leave you a link to this kit if it is still available. And I will also give you my code, which is Karina20 to get 20% off on this. All right, so let's get started. So I have I had a bit of, I don't know, I guess a quandary of how was, as to how I was going to decorate because I knew that I wanted to use up some of my stash. You guys know that from last week's video, I really wanted to use up what I had. So I think I'm going to start working on this first because I really want to get the date covers down. Thankfully, I believe the lines just just kind of fit over it, but I want to measure them so that it is the width that I need. Now it is taking up a bit more than I wanted. Let's measure it from this uh, side. So I'm gonna just use my my knife, my ruler. This is from, this is, I, I bought this at Michael's actually. You guys ask about this one a lot. And this was in the recollections aisle and I love this ruler because of the fact that you can see right through it and then you can use the lines in it to line everything up straight. I've used this kit by um, Green Darner Designs before and I'm using it again just because it's so pretty. So the first one I'm going to take off. I think the reason that Shelly sent me this was because this was in her new paper. Er, come on which is hard to cut. Hold on. Just slicing it through once more. There we go, where I've actually sliced through the sticker paper. And then sticking this over to where it said, from where it says this week. Now obviously this kit was not created for the dashboard layout. This was created for the horizontal layout. But I wanted to show you how you could still use a kit like this for the horizontal layout. But I think, like with what I said last week, you can use any kit in this layout and still make it beautiful and still make it functional because at the end of the day, they're, they're stickers. And stickers are such beautiful things that you can make them work in any planner. Laying these down. Now, obviously they're not the exact height of where the dates are, but I don't really mind because it adds a nice little design to that. And I also wanted to say thank you to all my new subscribers and to all the people who have been supporting my channel. My, I feel like my channel has grown so much in viewership in the last like three months just in this year alone. So I have to thank you guys so much for, for your support and for continuing to watch my videos, supporting me through all those times where I can't lay a sticker down straight or where I begin to mumble or you know, where I'm trying different things with old stickers. You guys, um, that support means a lot to me, so thank you very much. I hope to continue making videos because for me, this is actually a hobby. I love recording videos and as well, it keeps me organized. Let's make sure that's lined up, perfect. I think that is already so, so cute. And actually the colors of the orange and the pink work really, really well with what's on this spread already. Now, part of me wants to use that portion here, and I think I might. 
Now, the difficult thing with this though is that these are in separate pieces. And if I could get them all, no, I don't think that's gonna work. Might have to do it one by one, that's okay. Just to cover this area up, actually. We'll do it this way. I might get confused otherwise. <laughs> Line it, it up. So you guys let me know in the comments below, are you guys new to the planning community? Are you, wow, I'm totally confused. Are you, have you been around for a while? What planner do you guys use? What is it that brought you to my channel? I'm, I'm really interested just because I know that there's so many different YouTubers out there that you can follow and subscribe to. And actually, I follow a variety of different channels. Um, I don't always follow the same type of um, people who, I don't always follow, for example, all Happy Planner or all Erin Condren. I actually like watching a variety of everything because all of these channels give me different ideas for how to decorate my planner. So I will see things that I've, you know, see how people do things in their Erin Condren, for example, and I'll try and relate that back to my happy planner, or I will see how things are done in like a B6 or a TN and relate that to how I do my mini happy planner setup. So I don't limit myself to just watching happy planner videos or anything like that. So I wanted, you know, I, I like different videos where the voice of the person is quite calming and maybe I can learn a little bit more about the person who is doing the video because it's also nice to kind of get to know the person behind the videos. So what I'm going to do actually as well is I'm going to make a list of the, the YouTube videos I love to watch down below. But if you have a YouTube channel yourself, let me know in the comments and um, I uh, would be happy to support you. Okay, so that looks off to me. <laughs> I'm looking at that now and like that little bit that's off is gonna bug me. It is totally gonna bug me. And then leaving that off, oh. What am I gonna do? Because I need to cover this and I need to cover this and that. Okay, I have an idea. Idea brewing. Because I know that the whole width of that I don't need. So I'm going to slice it in half. Ugh. One of the things about me as a planner as well is I'm a bit messy. And I say messy because uh, I feel like things are flying everywhere. My my desk situation isn't always super clean. There we go. So I've cut that down in half. Hmm. How am I gonna lay this down? It would be cool if they matched up, but if they don't, it almost isn't too big of a deal for me. I, I really just want to cover up the word focus, and if I do that, I'm not going to. So, now that I think about it, I should have laid this down first to get it to match up, but no big deal. I enjoy that. So, I will lay this down this go this way and then I will put a label on top of that because I don't use this section for making calls or bills to pay or anything like that I actually use it for something completely different oh that's pretty and then do the same on this side I feel like I shouldn't use these for this whole spread but I need to get it out of my head that I need to hoard these stickers. Like anybody else uh, a sticker hoarder? I am a bit actually, but I 
still have all of these beautiful stickers left. So, what next? Maybe I can put the weekend sticker down, or... I like these checklists. I really like these boxes, and I would like to use them. But, on what days? I feel like this would go well on Thursday. Thursday really needs a box. I feel like Thursday there's always a lot going on. Okay, and then this box I will actually put oops, here, here, right in the middle. Um, I'm going to layer it actually. So I'm going to do the first box like that. And then the second box will be this one. Going on top like this. And we'll put it right on the line. Really, really cute. Okay. Now, this next part is gonna be, I feel like, quite functional. I haven't really used the decorative stickers as much as I thought I would. Let's see. No, I will put this on Sunday, the 14th, and that's when my husband's actually going on his business trip, so we will have to get a lot of cleaning done that day. I don't normally use boxes like these, but this one just works so well. Then, okay. I'm just trying to figure out which one's the best one to use. There isn't necessarily a cleaning box, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. So I might just, let's go back to a previous, I always like to refer back to the previous week just so I know. So this is the eighth. Actually, before I do that, sorry, I jump around everywhere. I will date this. Oh, I don't have enough. Yeah, I have 8, 9, 10, and 8, 9, 10, but that's it. Hmm, that sucks. Um, what else do I have for date covers? Is that all, really? See, this is what I get for kind of doing a, a no spend. I kind of run out of these things without meaning to. And there's some of these, but those are huge. Oh, I was looking for those. Um, these are cute and small. I can work with these. So these are just some leftover date covers, and I could work with them if I had all the dates. Oh my goodness. Um, so that is a no. Oh, are these small enough? Nope. Eight, nine. Wow. All you, all you can do is laugh in this situation where you're missing exactly what you need. Unless I can use this. I feel like the black is really harsh though. If I try and use the black. What do you guys think? It's a bit harsh. Yeah, we'll put them down. We'll use them because I have them. A lot of the times I will use what I have just because, well, why not? Because if I don't use them, then they're just going to sit in my sticker stash, not being used. And I'm really the type of person that I feel like I, I can't, I, I kind of get a bit of anxiety when I have too much stuff. Which is probably a good reason why I don't have all of the Happy Planner sticker books, I would start to get a bit of anxiety. There's other things that I collect, but the sticker books are, are not something that I collect. I don't like to buy things if I'm not going to use them. So there's certain sticker books that are lovely, but they're just not my style. And 14. Okay, not bad. Huh. So, put all my date covers back in the cart. Now, 
going back to this page. I don't have anything really major that week, so it really is a cleaning. I want to kind of um I really want to channel I really want to channel April or of Mom Run Craft because she is like her to-do lists and her dashboard, her Happy Planner dashboards are just so, so functional, so beautiful. And I'm in love with them. So, yeah. And I want to keep this as simple as possible. I don't want to overcomplicate it by having too many things on here. So, really, I'm using these icons. I hardly ever use these icons, but I really am, en am um, enjoying them this week. Oops. And I. Uh, what I think I'm going to do for this week as well, I'm going to do an after the pen video for this so that I can show you how I'm using this spread as functionally as I can. Thursday looks fine. Friday... I feel like I'm forgetting. I've had so many things going on the last couple of weeks that the next couple of weekends I'm just like, I want to do nothing. Absolutely nothing. For the kids... It is busy, busy, busy. It always seems really, really busy with the kids actually on the weekends because they both have gymnastics on the Saturday at the same time actually, thankfully. And then my daughter has choir and then we have church and I don't think we're doing anything else that weekend. I just want, sometimes you just want a movie night in. Oh no. I totally didn't, I, I did not raise that sticker properly. I love the colors in this kit. They're really, really cute. And then one, uh, I'm not going to end up using that. That one stuck to my finger. Ooh. Then I need a reminder here. And actually, this is crooked. And I don't want to rip it up because I'm afraid that I'm going to rip it up. Um... I need one more reminder, but I don't want to put a box there. Um, okay, I'm going to leave this portion for now. I'm sure I'm going to need to fill more in as I go. Then I'm going to put this lovely weekend sticker down because it's so pretty. It's just a matter of where. I might have to cut part of it off, and I don't want to... Maybe not. Maybe I won't use it. Because again, I want to keep this as functional as I need to. Now, I'm going to put a label up here for just what this is. This is really a, just a to buy. And this is just another list of things to do. Actually, instead of using that, I'm gonna use one of the pretty labels. Oh, oh, I may not be able to lift that up. Okay, never mind. That is actually really pretty and really simple. And I'm really, really liking that. I might just keep that the way it is. I still have lots of this kit left. So I'm going to use this in my other mini happy planner spread, but I really like it. It's simple, it's functional, and I really don't need much more than that. And then as the week goes, if I add more to it, then I will show you. But here's the before the pen picture, and I'm going to actually film an after the pen spread for this. So I will show you that next week. All right, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.